Hello, my name is Rafał Szarecki. I'm a solution architect and I'm going to give you a quick show how simple is to enable Spring in Junos. That's the first episode of the longer series I plan for Spring in Junos and episode one is Hello World. Okay, so what do we have? We have network of seven routers in the following shape. The ISIS is configured on all of these routers and on three of them, R1, R2 and R7, we have VRF. So, let's see that uh, our VRF and LVBN do not work. So we do have a 2BGP session from R1 to R2 and R7. <clears throat> and as, as you can see, there is no active routes. There are some hidden routes. So let's see why. And <clears throat> we clearly can see that uh, the hidden routes are the VPN routes as shown the, the picture on the top right side. And the reason why they are hidden is here. The next hop is unusable. As you probably know, the L3 VPN routes shall be re should be resolved by a uh, labeled path. So shall routing table inet3 is empty. No surprise, there is no MPLS protocol, neither LDP or RSVP configured. So let's give a try and make a spring in Junos. What we have to do, we have to configure node segment ID uh, under source packet routing for the IGP. And so we do. all routers I stop here uh, with configured spring on three routers R1, R2 and R3 and come back to our router R1 and have a look on the BGP summary. Now you can see that we have an active route from router um, from peer R2. No surprise because we have the full coverage of the path, MPLS path between R1 and R3. Let me now configure Spring on the other end, on the other PE or so R7. And see again on R1 how BGP summary routes looks like. So we now see the active route in VPN for the, from the R7. So let's have a closer look in a table A, maybe ref A. You can see that the destination in the VP, VREF at R7 is reachable. And so we have two labels to push, so everything looks good. I make it on uh, four. R5. R6. Seven is already there. So now everything should works. Should work. 
our therapy is here and let's do the simple test uh, I think the address rubric address of vref at r7 sourcing traffic from the local vref rubric address and of course in the context of routine uh, routine instance and traffic is flowing without problem between our R1 VRF, VRF at R1 and VRF at R7. That means that Spring in Junos established the end-to-end -end LSP between R1 and R7. Thank you very much. I will be back with the another Spring in Junos episode soon.